Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Whatever time I'm catching you at, it's good to be talking to you again on Friday. Yes, it's Friday, April 10th. We made it to the end of the week. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm just gonna jump into Google Classroom. I'm gonna jump into our classwork and you'll see that already I've posted number five, all right? I'm gonna jump into the turn-in uh, assignment. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into uh, this document. And I'm gonna jump into uh, this document, all right? So I'll have the presentation open and I'll be having the uh, worksheet open. First things first to do, all right? Uh, there's a question of the day. I just wanna know, in your thoughts, how does this class compare to your other classes? Do you think that your teachers are going to start assigning more work next week because we can start grading you next week? So we, I wanna know what your thoughts are, okay? Um, and what are your thoughts on this class? Is it too much work, too little work? Uh, is it just enough? Are you looking forward to so all, all these things? Just what are your thoughts? Okay, then respond to someone in Google Classroom and copy your response onto the worksheet. All right So yes, this question is here on Google Classroom uh, or in your worksheet and it's here in Google Classroom question of the day So please answer this question and let me know key thing I agree or I disagree does not count as a response It needs to be a complete thought. So if you're gonna say I agree you gotta tell me why you agree all right, say why you agree. Feel free to pause the video and come on back when you're done, but don't forget, you have to tell me who you responded to and what you said. That gives you credit for what you did. Go ahead and pause and come on back. All righty, here are some announcements. All right, first things first, remember the grading period ended on Wednesday, but don't worry, all right? Uh, your grade that gets in the mail is a progress report and high school applications only look at your semester grades. All right, uh, grading for the distant learning so far, remember, if you've done really well, you'll get a four. If you didn't do so well, you'll get an E, which won't hurt your grade and it won't help your grade. All right, all assignments starting Monday, like I said, can be graded, all righty? So uh, make sure you're, you're uh, doing the classwork, especially on Monday, all right? Uh, Monday, I'm gonna distribute some new information. I think I'm gonna create a syllabus uh, to kind of describe how you're going to be graded and what we're going to be doing for the rest of the semester, all right? Um, there are going to be some slight changes, but I'll tell you what those changes are to the magazine project, all right? Also, if you need to uh, get a library card, Miss E created this great video on that. If you have any Chromebook issues, you could see this video Miss E made. Or if you're struggling with your writing because we have this history magazine project due, actually all your writing is due on Mon on Tuesday, all right, on Tuesday, April 14th, you need to make an appointment or make an appointment with me so I can help you out with your writing. All righty. Um, and here are the History Magazine Project due dates. To, turn, to get a four, you need to turn it in completely on April 17th. Scroll down and you'll see today we've got some reading questions. All right. So you're going to go to this reading here. And this is also in the presentation, the announcements, the History Magazine project, and here are the reading questions, all right? So you're gonna go to the reading, right? And we're gonna be reading Crossroads of Three Continents, Growth of Trade Cities, and Trade Routes and Trade Goods. So three sections, all right? And you're gonna answer these six questions. No notes today. Just read and answer the questions. Here's a great like tip for when you're after to do this kind of things. Read the questions first, and then read the reading. That way, when you run into the answer while you're reading, you could just put the answer down, all righty? Once you're done reading and answering the questions, you need to post your answers on Google Classroom. There's a spot to do that right here, reading questions, parts two. Please post your answers to the reading questions and then check to see if you were correct by looking at your classmates' answers. And as always, please thank any classmates who might help you out, all right? Then I just ask you, hey, did you do that? Did you post your answers? Cool. Um, we won't be doing, oh, actually we will be doing more reading of this, not tomorrow, but on Monday. Sorry, that was a typo. My bad, everybody. The next thing we're gonna do is, uh, you learned a lot of stuff this week, but I wanna know if you actually know it. So there's a quizzes review game that I created. I came up with this quiz 100%. Uh, so I hope you enjoy my funny answer choices, all right? What you're gonna do is go to joinmyquiz.com Right? Once you get in there, it's going to ask you to put in the quiz game code. The game code is right here. Paste the game code in and join. 
All right, and you can start the games. Feel free to turn on the read aloud, the sound effects, the music, or the memes if you'd like. All right, please make sure your name um, is your name, just so that I can give you credit, All right? That's really important. Go ahead and start the game and play the quizzes game. All right, once you're done with that, uh, just answer this question. Did you play the quizzes game until you scored 100%? That's a key thing. I want you to get 100%. All right, that's important to me, all right? So it's also right here if you need it. And if you have any trouble signing in with SFUSD's Google account, just email me, say, hey, I played it, but I couldn't sign in. That's fine, just email me, all right? Last, feel free to pause and come back. The last thing that we're gonna do is a quick survey, all right? Um, I just wanna have data that shows what I'm doing is okay. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on this class. All the questions are about this week only, all right? So I'm, I'm asking you to compare this class to your other classes. I'm asking you to, uh, to, to say, hey, are you learning stuff in this class? Do you feel like you're learning things, all right? Uh, also, difficulty, is this class too difficult? Um, this should say done, I'll fix that. Or is this class not difficult at all, uh, at all? And then you can comment on your response. This week, how are you doing the work? Are you doing it by yourself? Are you doing it with somebody at home? All right, and this week, what time are you doing the work? All right, also, what is working? Here's all the activities we did this week. Tell me what's working. If you liked all these activities, go for it, check them all, all right? But uh, only check the ones that you think really helped with your learning. So maybe it was the discussion questions with inferences, right, when you had to do inferences. Uh, maybe it was the writing examples. Maybe it was the grammar questions, the Arabian jigsaw, the quizzes review games. When we looked at those images of trade, right? Did that help you out? Uh, what about the amount of work this week? Was, did that help your learning? Or the reading and answering questions uh, instead of just taking notes? Do you like that? And then also, if you didn't like any of those things, please check any things that you didn't like. If you have any suggestions for the class, please let me know here. I'll make this optional. And last but not least, right? Do you look forward to class? Did you know you can make an appointment with me? Where are you in the essay? And what could I do to better support your writing? Alrighty, feel free to submit that. And the rest of the day is dedicated to work on your history magazine project. Why, why do I want you to work on your history magazine project? Well, key thing is it's gonna be due in its entirety in about a week, all right? So it's really important that you're staying on track and you don't have to do it all at the end. If you have any, if you need any help or any support with any of the activities during the day or with the History Magazine Project, please, please, please let me know. I want you all to have a fantastic day. Take care, and we'll be talking very, very soon, all right? Have a great day, everybody. Happy Friday. Enjoy your weekend.